Hey, what's up you guys? Chris here back with another video and today we got our hands on two elite trainer boxes from our good friends at Rare Candy. The first one we have over here is Paldea Evolved and the one right underneath is the Obsidian Flames box. If you aren't familiar with Rare Candy, all you really need to know is that it's an online store and app that is created by a bunch of creators, the one of the big ones being Leon Hart. And their goal is kind of just to make sure that people can get their collectibles at reasonable prices without having to worry about scalpers and offer the wider range of different trading card games that most people are interested in. So they have things like Pokemon, they have One Piece, they have Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, and I believe they have a whole bunch of other things, including like Magic the Gathering, but you guys should definitely check it out. The reason why Rare Candy sent me over these Elite Trainer boxes though was to promote the sales they are having on the Elite Trainer boxes. A lot of them are going down low. They also wanted me to share my promo code for you guys. For anybody who hasn't used their services before, this promo code will give you 20% off your whole order and the code is new 20% dash pixel chris now once again if you are new and you haven't used their services before or made an account you get 20 percent off your entire order and they'll also include free shipping for any orders over 99 dollars which is in my opinion a pretty good deal overall who doesn't like 20 percent off shiny cardboard am i right but yeah guys if you want to check them out i'll leave a link down in the description and be sure to use that promo code it helps support the channel while we make our way to youtube monetization speaking of if you aren't aware we are about 250 watch hours away from getting YouTube partnered or applying for the YouTube partner program. So if you could watch as much as you can of this video or check out the content that I have on the channel, it'll help push us closer to our chance to apply for the YouTube partner program. Anyway, that's a lot of information. Why don't we just get right into the Pokemon card unboxing? So if you guys aren't aware, I've actually opened both these products on the channel before. So we aren't going to spend too much time just digging into the goodies that are in here. I'll quickly show them, but we're going to really focus on the booster packs and hope we can pull something great. I'm really hoping we could pull that alternate art Charizard out of this box or maybe even that Iono card that a lot of people like. But why don't we just get right into it? I'm gonna start by pulling out all the booster packs. We'll take a quick look at whatever promos the trainer boxes come with. So if I'm correct, we should have a promo card right here. Let's zoom in real quick. So here is our cute little Charmander. He is staring at the Pidgeotto outside that he wants to get to. Really cute. I do love the promos they make for this box. And then we have some energy, some sleeves. Here is a code card for anybody who would like it. Dividers and a whole bunch of other stuff for when you're building or battling your Pokemon cards. I'm gonna grab all our booster packs right here, which we're gonna put over to the side and we're gonna move on real quick to our other box for Paldea Evolved. And guys, it's worth mentioning that it comes with some information on the set as well as a checklist if you wanna keep track of what cards you're missing from the set. Um, these are very useful, especially if you go to cons and you don't want to bring like a, a big book of different things you need. You just check them off in here and bring it to a convention so you can try to find those cards you're missing. And once we open this guy up, we're going to get a look at the promo card that's bundled in here. And this is one of my favorites. This is the cute little Pikachu promo with the three starters in the back. I feel like this is one of the best promo cards we have gotten in a lot of the modern sets. It's just really cute. And I'm so happy to add another one to the collection. And other than that, we get our 10 Paldea Evolved booster packs. We'll put those right there. Got some cool sleeves. We also got uh, more energies, another code card for anybody who's interested and some dice, we got some markers, and you know, for the most part, this is all standard in all of these Elite Trainer boxes. So guys, I figured we'd go back and forth between the booster packs, and hopefully we can pull something good. I really, really wanna pull like a secret rare or something. It's been a while since I pulled a really cool chase card. Let's get into it. Let's start with Paldea Evolved because it's a really nice set. I'm still missing a bunch of the gallery cards, especially the ones with the starters on them. So hopefully we can get lucky and pull one of those out of here. Let's just flip over. We got the Steel Type Energy, Frigibax, we got a Tandem Mouse, a Citadel, Nactil, Nactil. We got a Zumarul, a Vespaquin, Ice Q, I like Ice Q a lot. He's really cool. Alexio Reverse, 
a Bombardier Reverse, and oh, right off the bat, a Ting Lu EX Full Art. I don't have this one, so this is actually really cool. I Wow, that is awesome. I do love the texture on the card too. We're gonna put this guy right over here in a sleeve, but that is a great start for sure. Now let's get into our Obsidian Flames. Guys, so I didn't even mention this to you, I don't think. So my friend actually bought my little brother back in September for his birthday an Elite Trainer Box for Obsidian Flames. My brother isn't a hardcore collector. He likes opening them. He likes to see if he got something rare, but he's not like me with collecting. And of course, what did he pull? He pulled the rarest and most valuable card out of the set, the Charizard alternate art that I've been searching for. So I've been super jealous of him. Let's see, Charcadet and an Entei Hollow, not bad. And for overall though, I'm very happy. He was so excited to actually like be told that it's a very rare card and and it's worth something so he put it with all his money in his piggy bank and it's really cute on to our next pack we got our second pal day evolved booster we started off pretty strong guys i hope we started off pretty strong guys i hope we can maintain this luck while we continue on so we have a dark energy gothita meryl we also got a wingle Pineco, very nice. And then uh, Giraffei, Giraffei. I can never say some of these new Pokemon. Um, and I haven't heard the English dub of the anime yet. I think it comes out next month. We got a Oricorio Hollow, very nice. But yeah, I'm actually looking forward to the start of the new anime. I really do, uh, I really did enjoy the anime featuring Ash. And I actually managed to finish the the end of his journey. It was very cute, very sweet. I like how they tied up some of the loose ends. But uh, honestly, Ash will always have that special place in my heart. But I think it's about time that we get a nice mix up with a new main character, maybe some new stories to tell, because uh, I wouldn't say it gets dry. I think it's just, um, at this point, it's been well over 10 years and it's time. We got a reverse Tynamo and a Toxtricity. Okay, not bad. We'll keep going. Hopefully we can keep going on. Let's see, this one was for Obsidian Flame. So we gotta go to a Palde Evolved pack now. If you guys hear the sirens in the background, I apologize. And guys, I don't know about you, but I haven't gotten a chance to open up as many cards this holiday season, especially after my big move. So I'm kind of happy that I um, get the chance to just sit down and edit another uh, unboxing video for Pokemon cards. Reverse and a Weavile Hollow. Okay. I will say though, a lot of people are enjoying these newer sets for sure. I believe, if I recall correctly, the start of the like Paldea region, the new generation of Pokemon, people weren't too excited about the cards coming out. I never had a problem with them, but I know that the majority online had wasn't crazy about them. And um, honestly, the art just keeps getting better and better. So like, I'm not complaining. We got a Meltan, a Toga P, a Toga Kiss Hollow, very nice. So that one was for Palde Obsidian Flame. So now we're doing Palde Evolved. I'm really hoping we get another one or two cool pulls out of here. We got 18 packs, so I'm really hoping that we can push our luck here and get some cool stuff. Tinka Tank, we got a Mankey, Delibird, Love Disc, we got Dun Dun Sparse, Passimian, Corviknight, Reverse Quaxly. Oh, we got a Gallery Card, Orthworm. That's really cool. I don't have this one either. And a Tinkaton Hollow. Look at that though. This is a real, look how the light's reflecting on that Orthworm. Wow, really cool. So we'll put him to the side in a sleeve as well. I'm actually running out of my normal penny sleeve, so we're using some that come with the Elite Trainer boxes. On to our next Obsidian Flames pack. I'm really hoping that by the end of the year, we end up hitting our 3,000 subscriber, I mean 3,000 watch hour minimum for the YouTube Partner Program, because I've really been trying to pump out as many videos as possible Reverse Cleffa, Reverse Glimlet, and a Palafin Hollow. And uh, for the most part, I've been trying to upload 
two to three shorts a week, then one long form video a week. Uh, uh, I sometimes have thrown in two videos that week and then I try to live stream re more recently once a week on Mondays. So if you guys are ever bored, definitely stop by the stream on Mondays. I'm tr currently trying to complete Super Mario Wonder 100% and usually our streams the first hour I'll do that and work on my 100% file and then I'll do something with the viewers in the chat like yesterday we played Super Smash Brothers which was really fun I got my butt destroyed by all the viewers and I was fully ashamed we got a Shinx a Nimble Pelipper 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 we got Fletcher Vigoroth Ooh, we got a therapeutic energy, very cool. A Satitan, boss's orders, hollow, very nice. And on to our obsidian flames pack. So we have about, let's see, four. We have four of each booster set. I I feel it. I feel luck. I feel one one or two more pulls in our future. At least I'm hoping. Rare candy knows how to hook a guy up. And the best part about all of this is the fact that um, I'm starting to work on a new deck to play competitively. Not serious, like I'm not going to try to go to finals or anything, but I want to play with people because I have all these cards. Why not use them and actually play with them instead of getting rid of the bulk and everything that's not an ultra rare, you know? We got another Pal, another Pal Day Evolved booster. Let's open that up. And yeah, guys, so we're actually at the end of the year. I'm I'm hoping I could post one more long form video before New Year's. But if I don't, I just want to thank you guys all for the support. This year hasn't been as big as the previous for growth with subscribers, but it has been the biggest year for watch hours. I changed up my content style so we can get YouTube verified. And I'm pretty proud with of how things have turned out. Like I said, we're almost there for the partner program. Um, but if you guys want to see me do any other specific videos throughout the year, definitely let me know in the comments. Um, as you guys know, I've already done video game reviews. I did that review on the PlayStation Portal. I did. Um, I've done some tutorials. Yesterday, I posted a video on how to catch Meloetta for uh, the new Indigo Disc DLC for Scarlet and Violet. And um, I'm open to any other concepts that you guys may have if it's going to be something you're going to want to watch. If it's going to be something you're going to want to watch. But um, yeah, it's been a good year and I'm very happy with how things have went, especially with like this partnership with Rare Candy and all that. It's really, it, it's really validating for the most part, you know, just to know that like other people see the hard work you're doing and, and appreciate it or just want to like, work with you you know i spend most of my time in my apartment all day so like the fact that i'm using my time wisely and people are noticing it is like makes me feel really good so we got glimlet rhyme i love rhyme rhyme was one of the coolest gym leaders tega volcarona we got an altaria a reverse altaria a reverse belly bolt and oh dude after I just finished saying I liked Rhyme, I got a Rhyme full art. I will say this, look at that, that uh, lining, that spacing, that's not that good. You see how how big of a gap it is compared to this side, but it's still a really cool card and it's I'm happy we managed to pull it. Look at this. I'm gonna put that right there. Very cool. And on to another Paldea. After this, we have two more booster packs from each set. Let's hope we can keep the luck going and get one more, maybe even two, fire card. Oh, I think I saw something, but it might have just been a hollow. Okay, so we got Steel Energy, Mass Chief, uh, Slack Off. We got a Paldean Whooper. We got a Pikachu, Oranguru, Electra Dude. Drafai. We got a reverse fridge backs, a reverse Corviknight, and yep, it was just a jump pluff. No biggie. But we still got a few more to go. Let's keep it going. Yeah, we're on Obsidian Flames now. And you know what? I'm gonna keep the last Obsidian Flames pack and we're gonna open up the two Paldean first. And hopefully that can be our lucky pack. 
Got a Bond Sweet, Magnemite, Larvesta, Rowlet, Gumshoes, we got a Pupitar, a Togetic, Reverse Mawile, we got Reverse Gumshoes, and a Hollow Claydol. I really do also enjoy this art. It's really nice, that's for sure. I am enjoying, like I said, I'm enjoying overall just the, the quality of the art. And though the Pokemon cards in America aren't as good quality as the ones in Japan, I will say they have gone up for sure. Um, and hopefully they continue going up into the new year and we get quality that is equal to the cards we get in Japan. We got Dundun Sparse, Hopip, Paldean Wooper, one of my favorites, Mabustif, Mabustif. We got uh, Pal Pal Pupitar, I cannot speak today, Flamigo, we got a reverse crow gunk. We got a reversal energy. Nice. And a Rabskara. Or Rabskar. Rabska? I believe it's called Rabska, but someone correct me in the comments. All right. Two more packs, guys. Two more packs. Let's see. We're going to go with that Paldea first, like I said. And then we'll close it off with an Obsidian Flames. There we go. Cross your fingers. We got a Dark Energy, Magikarp. We got Slowpoke, Let Leo, Rockruff. We got a stadium card. I've never seen this one before. We got a stadium card. I've never seen this one before, but it's whoever is the player. Okay, cool. We got a Corvswire, um, Archazon, a reverse Cutifant, a reverse Gaia Como. He's also a cool card. And a Low Kicks. Really cool. So, guys. It's time for our last pack magic. Let's cross our fingers. I feel like we can get one more pull. I'm, I'm hoping at least. You seeing the camera shake? I'm sorry, because I forget that the camera's mounted to the back of my desk. But here it is, guys. Cross your fingers. I feel like we have the luck in our favor. I'm not gonna look, I'm not gonna look. Okay, so we have basic dark energy, a wiglet, we got a Shuckle, Bisharp, Magneton, Houndoom. We got a Brassius, Magnezone, a Reverse Camerupt, a Reverse Sharpedo, and uh, just a Skullvelion. It's no big deal. I'm not too upset about it because at the end of the day, we ended up doing pretty well. So out of 18 packs, we got a lot of playable cards. I'm sorry, I should be mentioning it more in our videos, but... There's a lot of playable cards that we got pulled out of here. And then we got three really cool cards to for collectors. We got the Rhyme, even though it's a little off-centered. We got the Orthworm, which I just like how the light refracts off of it. And then we got the Ting Lu Full Art EX. So I don't know, guys. You let me know. Do you think these booster boxes are worth it? I personally think it's worth it because Rare Candy has them super discounted. They're normally $50 to $60, depending on where you get them. And depending on which elite trainer box you get, some, some you're getting up to $20 off. And that's not including the 20% that you can use my code for, which I'll put down here below one more time. Anyway, guys, let me know in the comments, which Pokemon card uh, out of the modern sets is your favorite? Be sure to leave a like on the video. It helps push the video in the algorithm. And make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet already. It helps support the channel. And I'll see you guys next time.